Jenny from the police cadets, is it the Accrington Police Cadets, Hamburn Police Cadets? Hamburn and Ribble Valley. Hamburn and Ribble Valley Police Cadets. So what are you what is what are the police cadets doing here today at the ten K room? We're marshalling to make sure everyone knows where they're going and making sure they're keeping safe. couple of the marshals at the Ron Hill 10k run so do you want to just tell us why you're here and what you're doing? Um, um, yeah we're here to support the 10k run, um, we are representative of Lancaster User Forum, um, it's a charity organisation just trying to get involved with everything that's going on local and the community. The man himself Mr Ron Hill, so Ron um, how does it feel to be back running again but this time in your hometown of Accrington? Well, I've, I've run the Accrington, the other Accrington 10K a couple of times, but this is one that's going to start in the town centre, which is going to be something special. And I believe there's quite a good field here, so um, I'm going to have to take my time. I've got a bad chest and got no, any excuse, you know. But I've, I'm just going to enjoy the, the run. I mean, it's, some of those uh, places up to, around Baxindon and Rising Bridge are, you know, part of where I used to run Clay, with Clayton Harriers when I was a very youngster. So it should be good reminiscing. I'm sure you'll get tackled by the hill going up Manchester Road as well. Oh my God, yeah. We've just driven down there and I'm thinking, oh, <laughs> just put your head down and take it easy. Okay, so and also I believe you've never missed a day's running since the 20th of December 1964. So that must take some going, really. Well, yeah, it'd be sort of, I didn't intend to start running every day, but it was not long after the Tokyo Olympics where I had you know disastrous games if you will I was uh, way down in the 10,000 and way down in the marathon and I just said to myself come on you can do better than that I know you've got better uh, performances inside you and I just started to run in fact I started to run twice a day the day after and I kept that I kept twice a day and once on Sundays going for 26.2 years now that was tricky at times <laughs> running once a day is not bad but when you had to fit two runs in that was a bit harder. OK, well, Ron, I hope you enjoy the run, and I'm sure you'll do an absolutely marvellous job, so thanks for talking to us today. Thank you. Thanks for that. And, uh, of course, Ron is a big local celebrity. He started life as a schoolboy at Spring Hill School and then went to Accrington Grammar School and, of course, has been a champion runner for many, many years and is still running every day. Come on, come on, come on. You're never, ever going to get this. depend on the weather and we've been very fortunate today to get probably ideal conditions uh, but I do think it's important that we have community events um, you know people tend to be their lives tend to be based more perhaps around family and friends these days rather than community initiatives <laughs> I think you're a bit out of oh, breath, aren't you? I went to Rome. It was good for the first one. Which bit was the trickiest bit, would you say? <laughs> Going up Manchester Road. Oh, Manchester, I bet you were glad when you were at the top of that. Yeah, yeah we're all right. Yeah, but you're getting your rest back because it's all out after that. It's all downhill to the woods. So that, that bit was good. This is how it comes. Point three. So that's why we're racing. Second. Oh, well, I'm a vet and he's, he's a young lad, he's only 36, I'm 54. I'm but I give him a run for his money on last stretch. Uh, That's why we're in the heat. Yeah. But well, but well done as well for you on your race. On that. I used to run that when I was 26 and I lived in Baxingdon and I loved it. It just brought back a lot of memories on that old railway line and I was born and bred in Baxingdon so it's a, it's a cracking day. I was the Manchester Road incline, how was that for you? I'm used to it. <laughs> 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 
used to that one. They were a bit, a bit warm going up, but no, cracking day, good turnout, fabulous local event. Let's see, here's to next year. Excellent, uh, very tough going out, coming back to nice and easy, downhill for miles, but I can't keep up with these younger people. How did you find Manchester Road going up there? Manchester Road, up the backs, very hard, but that's, I like the uphill bit, I don't, I don't like the downs, so that was lovely, enjoyed that totally. How would you sum up the call? how would you sum up the day really? Day, Atkinson puts on a great event, should be proud of themselves, I'll be back. Uh, let's ask you a quick couple of questions. Yeah, yeah. get an answer. <laughs> Uh, so, how did you find that run? How was it for you? Yeah. Going uphill was uh, quite uh, horrendous, really, for me. My first 10k, so I've done exceptionally well as far as I'm concerned. All a bit of fun, so that's what matters. Well, so it's, a, it's a great event to bring Atkinson together, would you agree? Exactly. Fantastic event for Ron Hill. Uh, you know, big part of Atkinson, always will, and, and may his memory continue. You hope to see it back next year? Definitely. That's great. Cheers. Thanks. Well done. Am I on air? You're on air. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. How did you find that event went for you? Oh, it's my first race for two years, so... Uh, pretty tough, but lovely testing run and nice finish. Which was the hardest bit for you, would you say? Oh, it was the ascent. So. First two and a half miles. I bet you were glad when you are coming back down there. Yeah, super, lovely. Even managed to look at the scenery. <laughs> uh, first three miles were really difficult. And then, uh, oh my God, the last two just did me in. <laughs> How was it going up Manchester Road? Was that the toughest bit, would you say? Yeah, very tough. But you just keep your head down and just plod on. Obviously it's, not, it's not the smallest of hills, is it really? No, it's a long hill. <laughs> three miles of climbing and three miles of downhill. How would you sum up the day? How would you sum up the course, really? Brilliant. Loads of people are out running. It's sunny. It's Mother's Day. What better way to spend the day? We say it's a great event to get Atkinson together, really. Oh, absolutely. Would you be back next year? Definitely. How did that go for you? How did you feel it went? That hill takes it out at the beginning, but I'm getting old now. It's not the easiest of hills, is it? No. This is my last race. I'm retiring as from today. I came back to Atkinson when I was born because I was at grammar school at Ron Hill and thought I had to be here for the occasion. So here I am. Well, what a way to end your career of running. I think so, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, how did that go for you, Ron, back, after, back running through your town? A bit slow at the time. Everybody, every run looks at the times. But, you know, uh, I got under the hour, so I'm happy with that. And uh, It's not the time that matters, is it? No, I had company for most of the way. I was talking to people and chatting and stuff, so that was, that was good. And, yeah, plenty of spectators at the doors shouting. A lot of them recognise me, which is always nice. Number one helps, I suppose. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll agree it helps bring Accrington and the town together yeah. as a whole community. Yeah, God, if we can build on this, it'll be fantastic. Really will. And we hope it'll happen again next year? I hope so. Don't see why not. It is going to be on next year, definitely. Definitely on next year, so we'll see you next year. Yeah. Tell you what, I'll get here early, warm up, and then I'll come down to the town hall. <laughs> <laughs> well, cheers, Ron. Thanks a lot. I had uh, people that chase get faster, so it was all in all, it was good. I enjoyed it. 
It's a great event you agreed to bring our Christian together. Absolutely. The support all the way through the race was great. Even the runners uh, running past them, everyone was giving you encouragement. Uh, people coming down the street, people walking on the cycle path. Fantastic. Same again next year? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Great well, well done, mate. No, no, no worries. Cheers. Event. Thanks a lot. And Marion Wilkinson is going bananas. Well, considering Ron is easily the greatest distance runner Britain's ever produced, and it's in his hometown, it's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, would you say that an event like this has really brought the town and the community together as one united um, community? Undoubtedly, especially in these straitened times, and in an era when town centre races have almost vanished, it's been fantastic. The atmosphere been wonderful and everybody regardless of talent etc have all pulled in and had some input fantastic event in the sponsorship is for three different charities one is Derry and one is East Lancashire Hospice and one is Finlay's Disney we're raising money for Finlay he's got cerebral palsy and we're sending him off to Disneyland to meet all his favorite characters so we've all been involved raising money to help us get him there I mean, it's a big local appeal, isn't it? I think it's appeared in all the papers and all the different advertising for the, the um, a Disney Dream Team to get Finlay off to Disney. So how important is it to get him sent off to Disney? It's really important. Finlay's already raised £18,000 for a local childcare centre who helped him walk and talk. So we just want to give something back to him and we did it. We did <laughs> We've it. done it. <laughs> How much is required to send him off to Disney? About four thousand pounds. So have you done that, or are you no, not? No. Are you anywhere near, or halfway, halfway? So, not not quite, but we're, hopefully getting there. we're getting about there. About a thousand pounds for today. Yeah, just from we've us raised sponsoring. a thousand pound just today, so every little helps. So. Really well done for that. How was the race for you? We'll go back to the race. How was it? How was the? How was how was Manchester Road? Oh, Manchester Road was a nightmare. <laughs> It's experience, isn't it? It was a challenge. <laughs> it was very challenging. <laughs> I would say an event like this has brought Accrington as a town together, um, as one community. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Will you be back next year? We are, and we're going to try and do it in less than an hour. Yeah. <laughs>